Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So I've been kind of lost in thought for the past few hours about something that happened, well as of this recording last night, but as of the time that this upload a couple weeks ago. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, so when I say last night, that's what I'm referring to. That's kind of why I'm bringing that up. Last night, um, Amber and I were just hanging out. We were waiting for Aaron to show up, and I'd, Amber started noticing that I had, like, a really warm head, like, as a fever. The weird thing for me was, though, that it was that I was, I had, like, one side of the nose stuffed up, but nothing that couldn't be resolved through that, <laughs> and a little bit of, uh, vapor rub. Which kind of helped me very quickly. But that stuff aside, I mean, the warm head was still there. The stuff nose gone. The thing that was brought up was more the fact that because I was having a warm head, Amber, lovingly as she is, was starting to worry about me. It was starting to, like, think that I was coming down with something a lot worse than I actually was. Bear in mind, the reason she thought this is because she doesn't get sick very often. In fact, it's extremely rare. Which, to the human mind, seems very un... 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 ab... not un... abnormal. But for her, it's just... irregular, apparently. And... because of this mindset, she thought I was going through a lot worse and asked me to get some rest. I did, and when I woke up, eh, nothing really changed. It was actually the humidifier that started to cause my head to cool off. Started to think that maybe it was because I hadn't used the thing in a while, but that's not particularly what I wanted to talk about in this video. That was kind of just kind of a background to why I'm talking about what I am. I mean, anybody who's already read the title of the video, I pointed both down and up because it depends on what you're watching this on kind of already knows where I'm going with this, but when I get sick, it's one of those things where it's like only I can tell, and some people might think I am just based off their own personal experiences or based off of what the norm is, but for me, it's I'm kind of far off the norm when it comes to a lot of different aspects of it. Not every time. A good example is a cold. I'm always one of the first people to always get one, when the time comes. I rarely, rarely ever get the flu. I haven't had the flu shot in a long time, and yet nothing bad has happened to me in that aspect. I got a cold, and it lasted two weeks, which, when it happened, it was kind of uh, bad, but it, it, it lasted longer than the norm, I guess you could say. That's kind of why I say it was bad. But, I guess, not just that, when I get a fever, it's pretty much nothing. It is literally nothing. I'll have, like, a warm head, and then after that, maybe a stuffed-up nose for a little bit. But it doesn't last very long, given the right circumstances. Even if it does last a long time, it doesn't do anything to me. Um, maybe this wasn't the case when I was younger, I don't know. My memory sucks, so I really wouldn't know. But me getting sick is not really... I, I've just noticed recently, at least, that it... Unless it's, like, a cold or something like that. Specifically a cold, actually. It almost does nothing. As far as generic sicknesses go. I have my own stuff I have to go through, which I'm not going to talk about on this channel. Just because I think that's a personal life thing that should just stay in personal life for now. Maybe in the distant future, when we've gotten to a certain point, I can, but... I'm not the only one who goes through this kind of circumstance, either. As I said earlier, Pink Fox does not get sick very often. When she does, it lasts a very long time. And it gets extremely bad. It's actually as of recent where she's gotten the most frequently sick. Um, 
as in the past year, kind of recent. And it's been happening a bit more. I don't know, maybe it's the location we're living at. Like, when I... I was kind of the same way when I was younger. Um, when I was living in... Uh, like, before I moved to the state I'm in now, um, I rarely ever got sick. From what I can recall, at least. And this is unincluding... Again, the circumstances that I'm going through that's I'm not going to bring up, but... When you do, when you cast that aside, it's like I'm not I did, like I'm not a sickness doesn't do anything to me. Almost every now and then I would, and it didn't last very long. But when it did happen, it was come and go. I'd find some things to distract my mind, and it would be basically nothing. Nowadays, it's a bit more frequent. Not a lot, but a little bit. Maybe it's the people I'm around. Sometimes, maybe not. I honestly have no idea, but seeing, seeing as, like, the experience that has gone through mine and Pink Fox's head, it seemed like last night was a bit more drastic than it actually was. I had to explain this, at, at, like, when I had fully w woken up. Uh, like two in the morning and she was still there trying to take care of me. She was also talking with Aaron on the phone at that point, I believe. No, that was at 9 p.m. 2 a.m. She asked me to go back to sleep and told me that um, uh, she'd wake me up if and, it, and, if and when, when and or when he came by. He did come by, but I guess they were thinking for my well-being they decided just to watch a movie and then part ways, which is fine. Um, but as far as, like, outside of that aspect, she got back, she woke me up, it was around 2 a.m., so he must have got, if I were to take yes, he got, or hit the area at around, like, 11. He does seem like a busy guy all the time, so it makes sense. But, outside of that, um, She did what she could. I ended up explaining that me being sick is not as bad as what's going through a lot of people's heads, actually. It's not just her who has thought this before, but it's a lot of people. Regardless, I think... Like, after... I actually was planning on talking to Aaron about something last night as well. Um, something that's just kind of been rolling through my head a lot, which I have not talked about on this channel. Maybe I will in the distant future. I don't know. Or maybe I have in the past. There are like 189 discussion rant videos, including this one. Well, actually, this isn't about me video. There's like 100 of those. I don't know anymore. There are a lot of them. But anyway, I guess me getting sick is a bit over-exaggerated sometimes. That's kind of where I'm trying to get in on this. And not by me, either. It's rare where it's by me when it is... It doesn't last very long, either. One way or the other, though, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to try to clean up the room a little bit. It's not super messy, but I do want to have it at least looking better than it is for when Amber does get home from work. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode, uh, this About Me video. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't say it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you like learning, if you want to learn something else about me, why not either check out the play about me playlist that's on the side of my head, or let me know in the description below if you want to know something in specific. Um, click the other link that's on the other side of my head if you want to check out something YouTube says you might enjoy. If you're not fond of either or, why not check out the channel itself, where I'll have plenty of playlists that you can ch and plenty of videos that you can choose from. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye for now.